All right, so the plan was to go to Venice today, but clearly we did not plan accordingly. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Florence. There's no return, um, no return trains tonight. So uh, we ended up going to another city, which I'm gonna show when I get there. I'm not gonna tell you where we're going, but right now we're going to grab something to eat. Uh, our train's gonna leave for like another hour and some change. And we're gonna show you what we're eating for uh, lunch today. All right, we're like seven cafes in and we finally found a place. Either the places didn't have a lot of variety, the food, like the food had not come out for the day, or we just didn't see anything like. So we found a place next to a supermarket. So we're gonna have food here and then we're gonna head back to the train station. Alright, we just made it to the train station. We're trying to find track number 18 so we can get on this train. It's really packed in here. There's not a lot of seating. It's like thousands of people in here right now. It's right here. Mackenzie, right here. No, right here. All right, not gonna lie, these tickets were a bit much, but we're on the trip. We haven't traveled since April, and Mexico really doesn't count, so we already lived there. So I'm just like, no budget for instance. Um, we just bought these tickets for the day, and we are headed to a place that I've never been before, neither has Mackenzie, and we're just gonna enjoy the day. So far, these seats are actually really big. They're comfortable. I definitely have room. I don't know if it's because it's a, the class that we purchased or not, um, but I know these were not the most expensive tickets. They were like medium tier, so. Can't wait to take off. All right, we made it to Bologna, Bologna, Bologna. I don't even know how you say it. Over here, I have no idea where we're going because this is like an impromptu trip. Uh, so we're just going to look on the Google Maps and show you guys where we're going today. All right, it looks like we just stumbled across the flea market. It looks like a lot of people are out here. There's like all different types of stuff, like clothes and everything. I'm not sure if it's like new, used, or whatever the case is, but that's what we found so far on the way to on the way to where we're going, which is um, some tourist spot that's close by. All right, we're just hiding out in the shade right now because it's super duper hot. But we made it to Piazza Migori. I know I'm butchering the name. It's a square. It's right behind me. There is something over there. Where's that? Oh man, oh yeah, it's right there. Right there. So we're gonna go get a little bit closer, look real quick and then get out the sun. Um, and then we're probably gonna try and find some food and walk around and see what else is here in Bologna. So we just stopped real quick to get some pizza. It's hot. Um, my daughter doesn't like the heat. I don't particularly like the heat. Uh, so we just got a uh, pie and cheese pie and also two Cokes because everywhere has Coke. 
and we're gonna see if pizza comes out. And I kind of want to try some more local food, um, but I think we're just gonna be like a hit or miss just walking around here. All right, we have these pizzas right here. It's delicious. All right, we just got done eating pizza. I actually ate like 12 slices. Duh, the lady gave us more than what we asked for, so we just took it. It was 13 euros for two pies, two drinks. Not bad. Now we're walking to the towers in the city, but first we're gonna go by Flying Tiger to find a fan, and then we're gonna keep sightseeing. So hot, we had to get some fans. It's too hot out here, you just don't have anything. This literally is the best little bag to carry while you're traveling. We travel with this um, while we backpack through Asia. I think it was like $29, $23 or whatever, but you could fit everything in here. It, like I take it to go food shopping, it folds up into this little bag. We're about to put all this stuff in there because it's too hot to be walking around in our hands. All right, we were able to fit uh, all the clothes McKinsey brought today, which is like an outfit, uh, snacks, fans, a whole bunch of stuff. And there's still so much room left in here. That's why I love this little bag. All right, we got our little one-year-old fans right here. And it is needed. It is so hot. We're going to go see the towers now. It looks like it's under construction. We just walked past it, but I'm just going to show you guys. Um, it, looks, it does look like it's under construction, so there's not really much to see, but I'm going to just go up on it. Okay, here it is, and it's definitely a leaning tower. Literally. Wow. All right, right behind me is this tower. It's leaning. Hold on. Ah, there you go. <laughs> what are you doing? It's leaning, leaning. Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen an actual leaning tower that's actually still standing. So this is really amazing. What do you think, Mackenzie? It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It is hot. But we out here, though. And by the way, shout out to my selfie stick named Daphne, who's taking these beautiful pictures. I actually have like a little key thing, and I just click it and take a photo. Um, we are going to be going now because this is under construction, the towers, and we're going to be headed to our next location, which we don't know yet, but we're just going to keep walking and check Google Maps. All right, yes, this is the selfie stick right here. This piece comes out right here. It's a little remote control, and it has like a stand, and I really love it. I think $11.99 on Amazon. All right, just got some more gelato. I got mixed berries and um, strawberries. Mackenzie got lemon. And it's really good, it's really fresh and super light. Uh, definitely on this hot day, it's 99 degrees out right now. You guys can get a better view of the towers. Very much so leaning. Just another street we're walking down, trying to get to another location. What should I know about Dexter? Dexter's laboratory across this George Floyd I'm pretty sure that's him justice has no color all right so we made it to this canal and I guess the pictures did it justice because it looks exactly how some of the pictures looked on Google Maps let me show you this is it yeah this is it I it's thought very... it was a hole no it's not fine. that one yeah this is the canal it's beautiful isn't it they definitely need to have some more water come through here all right, so we literally have found it. It was literally behind us. Uh, so now we're waiting in this line. As you can see, people are waiting in this line to take this photo. We're about to get in this line too. All right, here's an infamous TikTok video that people see all the time. It's not really aesthetically pleasing at all. I'm not gonna lie, I was not impressed. Were you impressed, Mackenzie? Were you? Hello? Oh, sorry. Were you impressed with it? Um, I was actually kind of excited, but I was disappointed that there was no water. It's all dried up. <laughs> what she said, probably dried up. Not impressed. Glad it was three ninety nine. Glad there was no line in it. Went through the line twice within five minutes. Yeah. All right, so you had to pay like a euro to get in here into the bathrooms. They were pretty clean. Uh, so we paid $2 to go pee, so thankfully it wasn't nasty or anything like that. Yeah, it's 
All right, so we made it back to Milan. Hour and like a half train ride. We're exhausted. We're actually gonna get some food. Hopefully, like this vlog. Hopefully, it wasn't too boring. Uh, how we spent our day in Bologna. Well, not Bologna. I don't even know how to say the name. I know I'm butchering it. But definitely fun day trip. I wouldn't suggest staying there. At least for us, I wouldn't have stayed there for like more than one day. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.